here is a dress that we do for Wicked. This is for an Ice Capades show. The Dancing Hyenas in the Broadway production of Lion King. I'm originally from uh, New Orleans, Louisiana, and I had worked in the theater and costume business there for many years until Hurricane Katrina happened. I wasn't allowed back into New Orleans because of the area that I lived in. So I chose to come visit a friend here in New York City. And that's when I started thinking that maybe this would be the place for me. And as we all know, the hardest thing in New York is to get an apartment. So finding a job was the, the second battle. When I was actually in New Orleans many years before, I had uh, started as a comedian. Happy Mardi Gras! Well, as a drag comedian. And um, I didn't think I'd ever do it again. And how many people are ready to have a good time? <laughs> But after getting here and knowing how expensive it was to live, I decided to pull it out of the bag. That's what I've been doing, along with my day job here at the Custom Shop. All of this embroidery is all done by hand, and all of this pleating is done by hand. Sometimes you don't even see it. My average day starts at 8.30 till 4.30. This is for the hyenas you saw, and it takes me about an hour to get back home uptown. Then I start the process of becoming the character, head back downtown, and then the show is anywhere between 12 and 12.30. I've been awake since 8. By the time you're paid and out of there, it's a good 2, 2.30 in the morning, and it's back home, get out of it, start the next day, back at work, 8.30 again. It's kind of like that Batman syndrome, you know? During the day, you're somebody else, but at night, you're someone else. You can help me back. It's really hard to travel now with more than one suitcase, but when you're traveling with more than one personality, I always get concerned that they're going to lose my luggage. What's a drag queen without a luggage? A man. It's not TV, I can hear you. Okay, so we have... You know, you don't know what kind of day people are having or who needs a good laugh. I had a lady that came up to me and had told me that um, she had experienced some bad news a couple days prior and she had found out that she had cancer and that she thanked me for making her laugh, which was a very touching moment for me because I never really thought about it. There's moments when you can actually take people away from the real world, considering what we're in right now, um, really is kind of beneficial. Proud to be from 